Hello, everyone, and welcome to Design Your Life, the 30-Day Yoga Journey, Day 18, Set Yourself Up for Success. Today, we are dealing with another niyama known as tapas. It's probably the most well-known. So we're going to begin in a seated position and bring your hands over your heart. Tapas is a niyama that is usually related to power, commitment, determination, self-will. It's our ability to get things done basically. But another way that I really like to think about tapas is tapas enables us to keep the agreements that we make to ourselves. So this class is quick, but it's going to be challenging. So here with your hands over your heart, I want you to make an agreement with yourself that you will be kind even when this class is challenging. Keep that in mind open your eyes and bring your hands to your shoulders, fingers in front, thumbs in back, and you're going to inhale to the left, exhale to the right, and twist. We've done this before. This is our heart chakra breath. Breathing in. Beautiful. Come back through to center. Keep your fingertips on your shoulders, and we're going to reverse it. Breathing in to the right, exhaling to the left. Continue like that. You're doing great. Keep your core engaged as you twist, twisting only from the upper body. Beautiful. Come back to center. Maybe give the shoulders a little little shimmy. And then we're going to come into breath of fire. If you have heart conditions, lung conditions, blood control issues, um, or are pregnant or menstruating, do not do breath of fire. Just breathe nice and deep. But if you are coming with me into breath of fire, we'll begin by snapping the belly back and breathing out hard through your nose. (laughs) Try and relax your face. Keep your spine nice and tall. Keep going. You're almost there. (laughs) Almost there. You're doing amazing. Keep it going. Beautiful. If you need to stop at any time, you can stop. Last five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in. Hold the breath in at the top and exhale it out. Very nice. Well done. From here, we're going to move into tabletop pose. So this is where it's going to get tricky. Just follow my cues. It doesn't last forever, I promise. This class is 10 minutes long and we're already a third of the way through. You're doing great. So from tabletop pose, we're just gonna begin with a couple cat cows. Inhaling to open across the chest, exhale round through the spine. As you move through these cat cows, remember that agreement you made with yourself to be kind even when it is hard. If that means backing off, lowering the knees, whatever, do it, yeah? Couple more cat cows just like this. Beautiful. And then from here, we're going to come into our sunbird switches. We did these a couple days ago. So extend the right leg back behind you and reach the left arm forward and hold, lower everything down and switch. Left leg lifts behind you, right arm reaches forward. Continue just like that, lifting opposite leg and an arm and then switching. Keep your core engaged and try to keep your hips level with one another. So you don't want your hips to be reaching up. If that means your leg doesn't lift as far, that's okay. Keep going. Just a couple more here. Sunbird switches are one of the best core exercises that you can do. You can do them every day to create more stability in your body. They are amazing. Couple more here, keep going. We're doing a lot of these, I know, but you're doing great. And last one, last set. Woo, very nice. From here, send the feet back, curl the toes under and come down onto your belly and lift yourself up into Sphinx. Stretch through the front of your body, 
relax through the shoulders. Those sunbirds can be really challenging, but like I said, they're one of the best core exercises you can do. Lower yourself down, bring your hands under your shoulders, and lift yourself up into cobra. Big breath in, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up into cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale into cobra. Exhale, lower down. Continue like that. Just a couple more tries, or a couple more couple more rounds. <laughs> Beautiful. Press yourself up into tabletop pose, and this is where it's going to get real. <laughs> We're gonna hold a plank for 10 seconds. You can hold tabletop if plank is inaccessible. You can keep your knees down on the mat or you can come with me into full plank, curling the toes under and creating a straight line from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. Wherever you are, start if you haven't, the timer's already going, just 10 seconds. Try and hold it for the whole time. You're almost there, almost there. Push back into downward facing dog, walk it out, well done. Beautiful. Take a couple breaths and bring the right foot forward in between the hands, coming into low lunge. Stretch through that left hip flexor. Keep that right knee directly over the right ankle. Plant the hands on the mat. Step back into downward dog and bring the left foot forward. Low lunge on the left side. Stretch through that right hip flexor. Left knee stays over the left ankle. Very nice. Plant the hands. Step back into downward facing dog and come forward into your plank pose. Again, 15 seconds this time, a little longer of a hold, but you can do it. If you need to be down on your knees, do it. If you need to take a break in the middle, do it. You're almost there. Timer's already going. You're doing amazing. Keep holding, keep holding and push back into downward facing dog. Gets easier as you go, right? This time, bring the right foot forward between the hands and lift all the way up into your high lunge. Arms up overhead, keep the core nice and engaged and breathe. Bring the hands down to heart center and twist over to the right. If you would like to, you can bring that left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Keep your spine nice and long. Imagine there's a string from the left heel all the way to the top of your head and it's nice and long. Plant the hands on the mat Step back into downward facing dog. We'll do the same thing on the left side. Left foot comes forward in between the hands. Lift up into your high lunge. Engage through the core. Extend the spine down to the mat. Deep breath in. Bring the hands to heart center. Twist over to the left. And if you would like to, bring that right elbow to the left knee. You're doing amazing. This is a quick class. This is what tapas is all about. Tapas is power. It's burning through what we don't need, which is sometimes being too hard on ourselves. Step back into downward facing dog and from downward facing dog, come forward into plank. This is your last plank hold. 20 seconds. Timer's already going. Make it count. Try and stay here as long as you can. If you need to lower your knees or lower down at any point, you can, but you're, you're almost there over halfway. You're doing incredible. If you're shaking, that's okay. Try and hold it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Beautiful. Lower yourself all the way down to your belly. Very nice, well done. Come up into Sphinx Pose. Elbows under the shoulders. Let the chest stretch and open. Relax through your lower body. You did amazing. Well done. Lower yourself down and push yourself back into a child's pose. breathe catch your breath and lift yourself back up into a seated position and bring your hands back to your heart close your eyes and check in did you keep the agreement that you made with yourself to be kind even when it got hard and if that meant taking a step back did you do it and it's okay if you didn't That's what tapas is. Tapas is all about examining how we are challenging ourselves and if it's appropriate. So if if you didn't hold that agreement, it's okay. Let it be. Let it go. You can always try this again. (laughs) You can always try again in anything, really. Go ahead and open your eyes. Let your hands come back to your lap. 
If you liked this class, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got 12 more days. And until tomorrow, have a lovely rest of your day. Bye for now.